The revolution will not be televised. The revolution is here. In the years following 9/11, the nation gained a heightened sense of patriotism, and for some, a heightened sense of suspicion as well. Playwright Yusef El Gindi brings to light the controversy of racial profiling and interrogation tactics in his play *Back of the Throat*, being performed as the second part of Ion Theater's two-part series, *An American Duet*. I sat down with the director for an in-depth look into the show. *Back of the Throat* is about um, an Arab American writer who has been identified as a person of interest based on suspected uh, acquaintance of a terrorist. Um, during nine, at, right after 9/11, um, so a couple of government officials come to his apartment to to talk to him about his writings, and um, it becomes this sort of fantastic story uh, about evidence and brings in other characters who try and find out if he had any knowledge of or any involvement in um, planned attacks on the United States. When I first read the play, I I thought it was a great script, but I, for some reason, I felt like it was a really masculine piece. I read it several times before we started the rehearsal process and started to, you know, find the, the beauty in the language. It's just an amazingly well-written play, and and also just the fun in it. It's it's such a serious subject, but it it is dealt with in a in a comedic way, and I love the timing and the dry. It's almost dragnet in some ways. The the characters. People who got here two hours ago. Saying, quoting back Thomas Jefferson and the founding fathers. They're not his founding fathers. They become his fathers. That's what makes this country special, man. I mean, I think it is still very relevant, um, especially because post 9 11, um, the sort of racial profiling of Arab American people in our country did change. I mean, I think there's all, it's always been a problem, um, and it doesn't just apply to that race. That, that, I think, is still extremely, extremely relevant. One of the, the themes of this play is context is everything, and the evidence that they have could be incriminating in one context, but not in another. I don't care if they hear it. Let them hear it. I'm not guilty. Sit down and tell us about it. Tell you what? You haven't told me what I'm being accused of. Shut the door. I don't have to tell you anything until I have a lawyer present. This is still America, and I will not be treated this way. That's kind of what I think is interesting about the story, and that can apply to anybody in your life. It's like, all right, we'll put this in one context, and this book that you have could incriminate you. But in another, as a writer or as an actor, or, you know, we have books on all these different topics that because we need to study for you know, what we do. This play raises so many questions, and I think it really makes us think about the way our country sees you know, people and the way our country processes information. The great thing about the way the playwright's written it is it, it, he doesn't make decisions for the audience. It's going to leave people thinking and wondering and questioning. Everybody, I think, is going to put it in their own context. Come see it. Back of the Throat performs March 13th through April 10th. For information on tickets, visit iontheater.com.